In this video, we're going to take a look at an application for trigonometric functions. This is an example called a sample tie problem. A tied question. At a certain ocean bay, the maximum height of the water is 4 meters above mean sea level at 8 o'clock a.m. The height is at a maximum again at 8.24 p.m. Assuming that the relationship between the height h and the time t in hours is sinusoidal, determine the height of the water above mean sea level again at 10 o'clock a.m. Now, let's look at the clues. First of all, we know the maximum height of the water is 4 meters above mean sea level at 8 o'clock. This means it will start at its highest value. The second time the maximum height of the water is 4 meters above mean sea level is at 8.24 p.m. This is the length of one complete period. Now, let's start by creating a diagram to represent this situation. A tide question. Since the question starts at high tide, the cosine function would be the most appropriate one to use. Add a sketch representing a cosine function, which is included in your lesson files. It should look like this. On the sketch, enter the information that is given in the question. High tide occurs at 8 o'clock a.m. At high tide, the maximum height is 4 meters above mean sea level. The next time tide occurs is 8.24 p.m. The next step will require some calculations. In this, you want to determine when the midpoint will occur. 8.24 p.m. is the same as 20.24 on a 24-hour clock. To calculate, you want to find the end time, take away or minus the start time, get an answer, and then divide by 2. This gives us a value of 2024 minus 8 o'clock equals 1224. If you take 1224 and divide by 2, you get 612. That means the midpoint occurs at 8 a.m. plus 612, which is 2.2 p.m. We can now label that on our diagram. Now that we know the midpoint at 2.12 p.m., we want to determine the one quarter point. Now, we know that 2.12 p.m. minus 8 o'clock a.m. divided by 2 is 3.06. So if we start at 8 o'clock and we add 3.06 hours, we get 11.06 a.m. That means that the one quarter point is 11.06. Now, we want to also determine when the three-quarter point occurs. So 2.12 plus 8 o'clock a.m. divided by 2 
is 10.2 divided by 2, which is 5.06. So we know that the afternoon midpoint will be 5.06. Now that so you have analyzed the problem and you have visualized it, Let's determine the key values necessary to create the trigonometric equation. A represents the amplitude. Remember, amplitude is the distance from the midpoint to the high point. C, the axis of curve, is the horizontal line that cuts through the midpoint. K is calculated using the formula 2 pi divided by the period, and D is the phase shift. Now, the axis of curve will be 4 meters below high tide, or 4 meters above high tide, or we could say 4 meters below the axis of curve is low tide. So the axis of curve could be 0, which is the low tide plus 4. So we give the value C is equal to 4. The amplitude, the distance between the lowest value and the axis of curve. We already know that's 4. So A is equal to 4. D, the phase shift. Since your curve starts at its maximum value, we can use a cosine function to represent this situation, which requires no phase shift. K by default is equal to 2 pi divided by 1, which is 2 pi or 360. In our example, our unit measure of time is given. So the length of one cycle is 12.24 hours. So we have A is 4, C is 4, we calculate K, 2 pi divided by 12.4, and D is 0. So our equation will be y equals cos 2 pi divided by 12.4 times x plus 4 is 6.1. The result would be 6.1 or 2.1 above mean sea level. Sail away to the next question.